sorry about the drinking noises. <laughs> I have to get my my speaking voice in order. Welcome to my channel. We're here to look at jewelry. That's all we do here. We just look at it. We ooh and we gush and we awe and we, you know, just shock and awe when we find wonderful things. And I'm absolutely excited because it doesn't matter what else I find. I've gotten some amazing, amazing jewelry from a wonderful subscriber named Linda who wanted to send me, I believe it was, oh gosh, I forgot, I think about 27 pounds of jewelry. And we've been going through it for over a month and I'm super, super excited to hopefully uh, do at least a 30 minute video. As you know, I do mod at uh, Makeup Zombies Jewelry Showcase, and I never miss that. It's actually the very first jewelry sales videos were from Miss Makeup Zombie. She is the pioneer here, and all kudos to her. She not only continues to make fabulous showcases, she never fails to bring amazing jewelry. And that's what matters. We all see mediocre every single day. But you go to Makeup Zombie's auctions, that'll start in about 30 minutes. Over at Makeup Zombie, that's Liz, and you will never, ever be disappointed. So meet me over there in about 30 minutes. Let's go through Linda's things and see what we find. Again, very grateful to my wonderful subscriber who just gifted me some of her jewelry and said she thought that I would definitely appreciate it, and she's very, very right about that. I've enjoyed many pieces, I've shared many pieces, and I've sold many pieces with her blessing. So I have on the rings of the day, because a lot of people want to know, <laughs> so I will show them to you. I have a gift from Miss Linda. It is beautiful citrine and garnets set in sterling silver. I have an amazing carved intaglio Amber with Garnets, and I got that from Gina Gay's auction. She has a YouTube channel here as well. Check her out. And then this is another wonderful piece from Miss Linda. It is a blue topaz, turquoise, sterling silver, wonderful good luck horseshoe there, and then just a silver tone snake wrap around. Another little, I think I actually found this in a jewelry jar, and I thought it was James Avery. It's very similar, but it's not. All right, let's get started. Let me say hi to a couple of people as we get started. If I fail to say hello, believe me, it's not um, with any ill intent. It's just that I want to get through some of this box so that we can maybe have another video left after this one. This one says costume fashion necklaces. And she was so kind as to even label all of these things. Thank you so much for being here again. Be sure and hit the thumbs up as you walk in the door. I think you'll really enjoy it here. If you want nothing more than to look at jewelry and talk about it and share your knowledge and hopefully I can impart a little bit of what I know when we unbox these types of treasures or when I open jewelry jars, go to estate sales. I do have some wonderful finds that I want to show you. I'll probably do a video a little bit more often. I may even do two per day. I will be off for a week and I'm trying to catch up on videos. So first of all, let me show you what I missed from the from the last jar I opened and that was this mini tiny little brooch. It just fell off to the wayside. I just discovered it the other night. And it, these are all prong set. They are really pretty rhinestones in there. They may even be crystals. I'm not sure. No um, marking that I found anywhere at all. But it's a beautiful mini brooch. I love mini brooches. I wear them alone. I wear them sometimes with, you know, those crossover necklines that tend to gap open and things. I like to put little cute brooches like that on there. All right, Carrie's here. Hi, Carrie. Hi, Mary Miller. Sanja, thank you so much for being here. And Kathleen at this and that as well. As Barb Underhill, how are you, Barb? Joni. Vanessa, how are you? I was trying to get on last night, but my grandson went to bed pretty late. Not really, really late, but uh, we had a lot of fun. So, ooh, look at this pretty thing. That's on a long silk cord. Cord. And it looks like really nice cloisonne. First of all, it's a butterfly. It looks like it's done really well. There's, there's a certain purist in the cloisonne, cloisonne world, and they, they're very picky about what they consider cloisonne or quasi-cloisonne. <laughs> this is precious. Look at the detail on that enamel work. 
I see depth. I see all, oh my God, a lot of detail. Some green in there. Look at the shading around the, the um, orange color there. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. And I hope the lighting is okay. Let me try to bring this one a little closer on the lighting. Look at that. That is beautiful. Hi, Lenore. And it's identical on the other side. That's the ring light on there. Very cool. Wow, I'm happy. That is amazing. I'm happy to show that to you. That is just so pretty. Here's a tiger eye necklace. Oh, how cute. These are not fashion, right? These are like so nice. Semi-precious gems. I mean, when, these days when you say fashion, a lot of times you think about mall jewelry, you know, quick, fast fashion stuff from somewhere like that. Or These are beautiful. Look at the chunks of that tiger eye. And that is some good quality tiger eye, too. Look how they cut it. You see some very different matrix in these beads. I'm really liking that. Yes, it is. Yes, it is my iPhone. I'm getting to know it. I love it. I filmed my grandson riding his bike here yesterday, learning how to ride a bike. And it came out so nice. It looked like a movie. I put it on cinematic. <laughs> It was really nice, especially when he learned how to use the handbrake. <laughs> he fell. <laughs> he fell before he learned how to use the handbrake. Oh, look, this is a little bit like that necklace I bought from Adrian. I think. I'm not sure. I haven't gotten it yet. That she called, uh, I think she called it a fun necklace. <laughs> this has seashells. It has art glass. Wow, look how gorgeous. Oh, and it's even got a little dangle at the top there. I love it. Look at that, little barrels, little genuine seashells, some art glass. It looks like even some Mille, Mille Fiori in there as well. Mille Fiori, so pretty. This almost looks like yellow jade. I'm not sure. Let's turn it around and see what else we see. I love it. That's a nice one too. Really like that. Also, if you guys have not subscribed, I hope you'll do it today. The subscription button is on the right. Always a free subscription there. And if you are interested in anything I ever show, you just need to send me an email. But I do auctions on Facebook on Saturdays as well. And all that information is in the description box. This is nice. And someone was asking about gold tone and um, beaded necklaces. This one has like little velvet beads. And then these appear to be glass. Oh, these are acrylic. Very cool. That's a nice piece. I really like that too. Hey, Gina, I was just showing the pretty ring I got from you and telling everyone about your channel as well. She's got such amazing jewelry. And everybody loved the amber ring I had on yesterday. That I also got from Gina. Oh, look at this. I like this too. Some of these I'm not crazy about, but I like the color story here. The black and gold. Kind of sunny citrine gold and then some gold tone in that. That is really pretty. I like that. All right. That's a nice one. This is... Oh, so nice. I actually thought this was kind of like an African mask or something. These are bees. Oh, I love it so much, Gina. I, it's just amazing. Even my husband says, that's a B-A ring. And he says, he says, oh, you're wearing that Gina ring. He calls it the Gina ring. It's just so nice. It really is an attention getter. I love it so much. Hey, Liz. I was just telling everybody in my intro about hopping over to your showcase in a few minutes. This is tangled, but it's kind of like, a, I guess like the corded necklaces. How cool is that? 
these are bees. This almost has to be a Joan Rivers, but I don't know all her collection. These are heavy. They're double-sided. Let me see if I can put it on a display here, and I'm not going to bother to untangle it completely. Is it? I don't know. It's just so cool. These are bees. They're carved bees. And I really thought it was one of those Blackmore type of designs. I think that's what it's called. But they're actually little bees little bumblebees or something. I don't see any marking on them, but I love them and I would love to wear them even loose, just kind of dangling, draping around the neck because it's got a big knot, so it, it will be fairly long. I would say probably 20 inches long. Wow-wee, that is pretty. I've never seen one like this. This was not what I expected those carved bees and they're on both sides of the thing. And these are, I think there's some kind of ceramic or rock. They're very heavy. Love that. That is an amazing piece. Miss Linda, you never have failed to surprise me yet with these amazing gifts. And I'm calling you in a little while. I've been trying to call you. We can chat. In case you're watching later. Oh, look how pretty. This is a nice color. Very nice. This is shell. And I'm not sure what this is. It feels like a little bit of a resin. And then maybe some wood. Very nice color, don't you think? Kind of an army green. I like that. All right, let me see who else popped in. Emily, how are you? Thanks for being here. And Verna, I hope you're doing well. I hope you guys aren't working too. Oop, there went my camera. Too hard for Thanksgiving. And that uh, you have a lot of wonderful food and blessings on your table. Lots of family is what is important. Look at this. Just having that in your hand is so pretty. That is so cool. These are acrylic. And they look like gemstones. Look how pretty and fancy. I mean, festive and fun. The colors are beautiful. They look like they belong in a candy dish, don't they? It's just a long multi-strand necklace. I love it. Really pretty. Hi, Debbie Smith. I'm glad you're here. <gasps> More butterflies. What in the world is this? Oh gosh, this is cute too. I have to untangle this one. Nice sound too. I think I hear some bells or something. Oh wow. Okay, look at that. That is cute. Looks like somebody replaced this with a toggle. That's a good idea. Those necklaces can be hard to maneuver, can't they? Okay, I cannot read. Let me see if I can read it with my loop. The maker. It's very cool. All right, it is Nancy Wilson or Nanny? N-A, and it's got an interesting kind of a script all over it. And it looks like it says Wilson. I know, me too, Liz. Me too. Well, she signs her, her name with the, her little signature butterfly. That is really cute. That is fun. I like that. And then here's some kind of a cord. Look at this. I don't know. She, there's probably something that goes attached to this. Look at that. Because, see, it just has two hooks. I'll bet there's some kind of a pendant. about that I had an alarm go off I don't know why oh my goodness that's really pretty it's a fuchsia color I'm not sure I've never seen anything like that let me know what you know can you guys still see me the alarm went off I hope it didn't kick me off or anything 36 people here 23 thumbs up be sure and hit the thumbs up Ooh, look these are glass wowie <laughs> Oh my gosh, that is gorgeous. Look at that. These are like 
Jumbo Marbles hair. And oh my gosh. Good, good. Thank you, Vanessa. And this is a drawstring. Uh, what is this? White House Black Market. I don't recognize this either. Looks like a V, but not a Sopata. V. Oh, I think it says UCN or TV. I don't have any clue, honestly. There it is there. But that is beautiful. This looks like it belongs draped over Amar or something. How gorgeous. These are glass crystals cut beautifully. Oh my gosh, I'd be so afraid of wearing this. <gasps> I would be so scared that I would drop it after I placed it on my dresser or something. That is just amazing. Wowie, gorgeous. Okay, we've got another bag. I think we still have a few minutes before I'm heading out over there. And it's got a lot of stuff. It's got a lot of stuff, and it says nice, nice, nice-ish. She's a wordsmith, I'm telling you. Nicest fashion, some designer. All right, we'll pour out a little bit. Hi, Bonnie. Oh, my goodness gracious. That is an amazing necklace, isn't it? All right, let's see what we can get through in a few minutes. Time. I poured out half the bag, y'all. Half the bag. And, oh, and I love all these little pouches. Oh my gosh. And I probably messed up the little stickings though, but we'll see what's going on here. And see if I can't straighten up my camera a little bit. It seems to be a little crooked. Okay. What does this say? Betsy? Earrings. I bought them as such. Oh, Betsy earrings, I guess. Betsy Johnson is probably what she's talking about. But I don't know which ones those are. These are some earrings here. I don't know if it was attached to this or not, but let's look at these earrings. Oh, these are pretty. Very pretty. Oh, gosh, those are cute. These might be them because I think... Betsy did kind of um, a mix like this. I know I have a pair that they're different. So these might be the ones that uh, she was told were Betsy. They may or may not be. But those are gorgeous. So you wear one star, one moon, and the other. That is gorgeous. I don't see a signature. On earrings I'm not sure how she would sign her earrings but those are really pretty regardless of who made them I love them they are gorgeous all right let's see what's in here Trafari Trafari oh, I'm excited already oh, how cute but it's actually Napier I think or is it Trafari no yeah I think it's I can't read it oh my gosh I'm so blind Yes, this is actually Napier. So she might have been mistaken on that. But this is heavy and beautiful. This is really pretty. High polish and some brushed finish. And wow, does this weigh a ton. Beautiful Napier. I love it. Oh my gosh, that is a nice piece. That is so heavy. That must weigh 40 grams. And then this one says... Susan Summer, Suzanne Summers Fashion Ring. I love Napier too. They make amazing jewelry and I love their beaded work especially. They last forever. Wow, 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 wow. Look at that. Suzanne Summers. Look at that abstract design. Wow. And that is, what color is that? That is not, look at the trillion cut, pear cut. I can't even describe the color of that. It's not an aqua color. It's not a topaz color. It's gorgeous. Just beautiful. It is Mark 925. It looks like an angel almost, doesn't it? 
see how this is a topaz? It's not that color. Wow. It's a little on the big side, but ooh, it's big on my middle finger. Almost looks, yeah, it's more like an abstract. Just look at how it's got a little ring on it. That is beautiful. That's a honker of a ring right there. Oh my goodness, yeah, I'll have to wear that on my index finger. And I think it looks great on the index finger because it's humongous. Hi, Joby, how are you? Thanks for being here. Oh my gosh, that is amazing. That is a nice one. Jillian, how are you? I thought I saw Debbie in here. If I did, hi, Debbie. <laughs> Okay, another little pouch. Look how pretty this pouch is. Oh, I love this. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh, Miss Linda. Miss Linda, look at this. It looks like the, what is that famous Cartier Tutti Frutti design? OMG, forgive my dated expression but wow wowie wow oh that is gorgeous and a clamper no less and it looks like it was never worn this is like in pristine condition every color in the rainbow they are prong set it is marked in there i think this looks like it has a little cartouche it says CN. Who is CN? I think someone told me who that was. CN. Oh, that's pretty. Wow. Gosh. It's like Christmas and Thanksgiving and Valentine's Day and everything all rolled into one. It's Linda. Oh, my God. Goodness, I'm so excited for all of these beautiful things I'm looking at. Oh, look at this. Oh, oh, and earrings. How, and they're light because these are acrylic. They're lightweight and amazing. Oh, wow. Look at this. And this one is heavy. This is like a stone here or a heavier acrylic stone. They're not really a match. Look, they just play really well together. Don't you think? They really do. This one's beautiful, too. Look at those beautiful crystals. And it almost looks, these little platelets or whatever they're called here in the palette, I don't know, whatever word that is, like a little sequence all around the back. How gorgeous is that? Let me see what, what this says. This one says China. That's all it says is China. That's beautiful, those cabochons. Oh, my gosh. And look at this beautiful chain. That's beautiful. Didn't she pair that wonderfully? That is a really beautiful marriage right there. I think it looks like it came together. I almost thought they were matching thing until I took a second look. All right, we're at 28 minutes. I think we have time to open a couple of more pouches. I want to cut it at about 30 minutes I'm sorry but oops look at that I'm losing my camera okay I'm also working with a horrible tripod right now my overhead tripod broke I have to buy another one fashion watch another fashion watch and I do love that one she sent last time <gasps> look at this one. Oh my gosh look at this these are prong set. What is the name of that green stone? One of my sister's customers gave her a ring with this beautiful green stone, and it looks like that, and it's not peridot, and it's not emerald. Oh, my gosh. Look at that watch. That does not even look like a watch. <laughs> Just looks like a big bracelet. Age, I can't see what it says on the name. Look at that. These are prong set stones in there. This weighs a ton. There it is. Adrian. I thought it said Adrian. It's Adrian. Couture collection number 286 of 5000 Swiss movement. 
That is a beautiful watch. Oh my gosh, I'd be too busy looking at the bracelet to tell time on this thing. I can't get over this watch. That is just gorgeous. And it has adjustable links, I think. So I can possibly adjust it because it's big. I'll see. It's falling on me because it's so heavy. Oh, wow. Fashion rings. Thanks again for hitting the thumbs up. 60 people here, 30 thumbs up. Take a little time to go to the screen and hit that thumbs up for me, if you will. It really helps get the videos out to more people. Look at this. Ooh, these are so unique. These are just little fashion rings. They are so pretty. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Looks like some kind of space age living quarter. Look at that. Wow. Oh, that's beautiful. And look at this one. <laughs> Another CN. Oh, wow. Look at that. It's a little, I'll put it right here with my snake. Let me take off my snake and stick it back there. That one's beautiful, looks like brass. Then I'll put my little snake here on the side and they'll just play together very nicely. Look at that. Strong Minds Jewelry Lovers, I'm so glad you're here. Look at this one. Butterflies flying around, rose, quartz. Oh my goodness gracious, look at that one. That is so beautiful. These look like crystals. Those are beautiful. Oval cut. It looks like oval cut. Round cut. And then some butterflies. Just kind of there in the middle. Oh, wow. That's beautiful. That is amazing. So pretty. Okay. I'm going to just do the patches that are the little pouches that are left. There's two. I wanted to finish, but we're not going to finish. We're going to have to come back. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I've never seen anything like this. How gorgeous is this? Sweet Romance. I've heard of that brand. This is a charm bracelet of rings. What a fabulous idea, isn't it? I've never even seen that. Oh my gosh. Look at these rings. I was thinking, oh, they put a ring on it, and I turn it over there. All rings. How cute. Oh, that's amazing. <gasps> Look at this one with a pink pearl and a white pearl. I want one of these rings. <laughs> I want them all. Oh my gosh. A little opal looking one. A little cameo. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Oh my two things. Oh, look at this beautiful stone. Oh my gosh. Did I get did I show them all to you? I think so. Well, there's a blue with little pearls. Oh, that is amazing. I have never seen anything like this. I've been missing out. Where are the where are you buying these beautiful things, Miss Linda? Oh my goodness. Yeah, I've been missing out. I thought I knew jewelry, guys. <laughs> Just I've never seen anything like this. I've seen the rings on necklaces. People wear them when they have some kind of meaning or something and they don't fit. But I have never ever seen anything like that. That is incredible. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're going to make this the last one. It says Joan Rivers Brooch. And we'll come back as soon as I can because I still want to do my giveaway videos. So please stay tuned when I pop on. I do not announce them. And um, I don't do a giveaway banner or anything like that on the thumbnail. And I want to do that and then come back to Miss Linda's box. Oh wow, look at this beautiful thing. That is pretty. Well, it said Joan Rivers brooch. It says China. 
Not sure if it is. We'll look closer. It may have fallen to another place. I don't know. But this is a beautiful brooch, whether it's a Joan or not. Look at that. It's got like two shades of red. I don't know if you can tell. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh my gosh. I am totally out of breath. I really appreciate you joining me today. Please come back for another video. Miss Linda. Oh my gosh. I just, I am absolutely speechless. So, so grateful for thinking of me. I just don't even know what to say, but I am just overwhelmed in total awe and shock of these beautiful things in front of me and that you took the time to send them to me, that you had that sentiment to send them to me is just an incredible, an incredible feeling. I just can't even believe it. I really can't, but I thank everyone who shared it with me. I really do appreciate it. Come back soon for another video. And uh, I will see you very soon. Be blessed if I don't talk to you by Thursday. Have yourself a wonderful Thanksgiving. Bye.